Fritz and Stowe fall in love, and boy, that does that cause some problems. What's wrong? It's morning. Uh, you're going to be late for work? Uh huh. Could you call and tell them you'll be a little late, maybe? Uh uh. Uh uh. Listen, uh, you think you could lend me a hat? A hat? Yeah, yeah, hat. I got this really bad skin condition, and it's very dangerous for me to go out in the sun. Like a rash? Yeah, yeah, like a rash. It's, 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 but it's worse. Oh, is this one of the things you don't want to tell me about? No, 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 it's nothing, really. It's nothing serious. I'm not sure it's your color. And joining me are the lady you just saw, Madeline Stowe. This is her first released feature film. And a man you didn't see, he was behind the cameras, the director of Stakeout, as well as Blue Thunder, War Games, Whose Life Is It Anyway, Saturday Night Fever, Dracula, Short Circuit. I think this guy has a future. <laughs> John Bell. <Bannon. laughs> Thank you for joining us this morning. You actually had trouble casting this part, didn't you? of Maria mm -hmm. that Madeline plays. We talked to every female member of the Screen Actors Guild. Well, not quite. Helen Hayes was not available. She was doing something else. But uh, we went through everybody and talked about, discussed, and the trouble was we had a part that was half Latin, half American. And uh, it was very important to us because the writer's wife is half Latin, half American. He wrote it for her, and she was in there wanting to make sure that we had the right, <laughs> the right person. And Richard Dreyfuss was there wanting to make sure we had the right person. And Disney, so we had all of these helpers. So uh, Madeline came in and did a wonderful reading with our casting director, Mike Fenton, and got him totally embarrassed. He, was, <laughs> he blushed up <laughs> out the hair. I said, let's test her. So, so I went in and did a communist election where we had one person testing Madeline and showed him this and said, here she is. You are considered a director who loves women. Uh, you photograph Madeline beautifully. Was she that important to you, Madeline? the best love scene. I can't tell you. He's great. Yeah. Was, was, I think he does. Would you ask that question again, please? <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching these contra hearings. I know how to do this. <laughs> how important is it for a director to uh, love women when they photograph women? I think you have to love the actor that you're working with. You have to want to take care of them. You, you want them to look their best. And you don't want to go in on these wide-angle lenses and, and, and making them look terrible. Everybody needs a little care and love to, to look their best so that the audience loves them, too. When you did Saturday Night Fever, I believe there was a story that John Travolta was supposed to wear a white suit. And you told him he was going to look better in a white suit, and he disagreed with you. Oh, he said, well, I'm going out to buy a black suit. Black suits look cool. I said, I don't think you want a black suit. I mean, maybe white. No, no, it's going to be black. I said, well, Karen Gorney will be very happy about that. And he, <laughs> what do you mean, she'll be happy? So, well, she's got a red dress on, and that means everybody will look at her, and they won't see you, because the black will just go into the, the disco. Well, oh, hmm. About three hours later, he came back. He had four white suits with him. <laughs> and a whole friend was born. Madeline, a big break for you, this picture, isn't it? Yeah. A little girl from Glendale, California. <laughs> yeah, pretty strange town. It's this real provincial um, little place, real inhibiting. I'll never forget when we finally moved. I had originally been kind of an extroverted child, and when we moved there, it was disastrous to me because it was my first year in junior high school, and I wore the same dress twice in the same week, and it was all over. That was it. That, I'm telling you, that's, that's the kind of town it is. But uh, I pulled through it somehow. <laughs> John oh, Batter, thanks for joining us this morning. Okay. It's always nice to have you well, here. Thanks Madeline. for talking to us. Good, Good luck to you, you with Stakeout. Thank you. And we'll be back with more.